Hey, what's going on everybody, you Android folks out there? This is my quick overview of the JellyWiz Release Candidate 7 for the XT910 Razer. Now it's also available for the CDMA one in the US. Um, so you can download the GSM one or the CDMA one. This is the XT910 and let's see if this ROM is worth flashing. I had a review of this ROM before. I think it was release candidate 5, but I'm not sure. Now this is the seventh version of the ROM. Now you get a lot of features here. I will show you what I mean. Of course you will get the also the touch with widgets and your launcher, of course. But some really nice apps here, like the camera, it's now 4.2. It was before, but very good to have it because the original um, Motorblock camera is not so cool. Now, uh, sphere, Photosphere is actually not working. Um, I said I was not sure in the last a review of this one but now you see we don't get um, a fixed point to take a photo and move on so this one isn't working but of course you will get one uh, 1080p video recording 720p you can choose it you get panorama mode and your 8 megapixel camera which is awesome on this device, I think. Now this device is very old, but it featured the 8 megapixel HD 1080p video camera. Very cool. You see, we get the Pi control, which is awesome. Does it work? Yes, it works. Now, I'm not so familiar with Pi Control because it was on the Pac-Man ROM and all the, the uh, paranoid Android ROMs. Um, I didn't use it yet. Uh, I didn't use it in these ROMs because... Yeah. So, I don't use it. So, you have to tell me what I can do it with it, with that. Excuse me. Yeah, you can, of course, you can configure this. All these buttons, you get the time, you get your notifications when there are one, when there is one, battery, and your free RAM, and the date. Now, as you see, you get uh, JellyWiz custom settings. in your uh, uh, usual settings menu here. I think this is the first ROM which features this awesome menu of all these ROM, uh, these links to certain applications. You get the performance control, which is no filled CPU. You can overclock it up to 1.3 gigahertz and apply it on boot. Very fast ROM. Got your CPU stats here. You see, Deep Sleep is awesome at 97%. Very nice ROM. Super SU, yeah, my binary needs to be updated, but I don't care. The OTA update, you see. The developer has not enabled support for the OTA updater. Maybe he will add it, because otherwise this uh, doesn't make any sense that this link is here. You can also configure the, the way your LED flashes here on top of your device and you can choose some uh, colors here, like for Gmail and Calendar and your SMS, messaging, WhatsApp and so on. Per app DPI settings. I tried to install it, but I failed because every time I install the update, I will get this, cannot read, whitelist, exposed framework is not installed. Yeah, here it says you can install the exposed framework, but every time I hit install, you will 
I will get this message and it sucks. <laughs> yeah, the Pi Control. You can configure it the way you want. I think there's a very nice feature uh, which was added here in this ROM. I love it. You can jump to your... What does this button here actually do? Ah, you have to hold it till it vibrates, but it does not do something. Yeah, you can change your icons with I can change your free. You will also get this app in the Play Store for free. Very good when you want to change your icons of the Touch with launcher. So you can do that with the app. Now let's move on. Uh, you see we get some nice icons here, the circle mod battery icon and uh, themed quick toggles here. The green accent which are also uh, horizontally scrolled. Now let's jump to these ROM control settings here. Faster GPS fix. Oh, that's cool. You can uh, choose a custom server here. Let's choose Germany because we are in Germany. Current server and go, go. Yeah, I think we changed it to Germany, but that's cool because uh, sometimes you will get very weird GPS um, Excuse me. Um, yeah, you will get some bad GPS um, connection call recorder. I don't know a person which actually uh, records your records calls, but I think I'm not using it. Can't imagine a reason why you would do that. But you can do it. Yeah. Get your Pi Control, which, yeah, this has to be on top here. I think you can configure it that it won't be here, but here, because in my launcher, it's annoying when you want to switch home screens. Yeah. Now this is the seventh seventh version of the Jelly with ROM. When you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like what you saw. And make sure that you stay subscribed. More videos to come, awesome ROMs to come. Maybe I will make a video on how to get the OTA update for the GSM Razor, the official one, not the US version. So yeah, awesome ROM. Of course it's it's a daily driver because everything works. The reason behind it is that the ROM is based on the OTA update, which is awesome and doesn't have bugs or anything and it's super fast and you can overclock it and you will get Pi Control and awesome settings. So just install this ROM and mess with it yourself. You will like it. So I will see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.